welcome to this week's vlog. Am I starting this vlog on a Thursday? Yes, yes I am. I woke up this morning to a bunch of messages saying that there was someone impersonating me and trying to scam my followers. I know people who have been scammed before and it is such a terrible, terrible feeling and so my stomach dropped when I saw it, um, but luckily it looks like a lot of people reported the account. It's down now. Um, which is good and I haven't gotten any messages from anyone saying that they actually entered their credit card information and so hopefully hopefully nobody was actually scammed another piece of bad news though I went out into the garden to do my usual morning routine of watering all of my plants and some creature ate all of my zucchini flowers so I already pruned off most of the damage and threw it out but you can see here that someone came and ate all of my pumpkin zucchini buds. got done with some throwing. I'm super excited for all of the pottery that's going to be going into my next bisque firing. I'm thinking about having a little fruit handle mug series. I've already released a bunch of orange mugs where the handles are in the shape of an orange and so on that sort of train of creativity I've decided I'm going to also make a lemon, a peach, and a strawberry version. I did a pretty big studio cleanup yesterday and so I'm trying really hard to keep the studio clean and do a little bit of cleaning every single day instead of just pushing it off and then having to take like an entire day to organize and clean. We'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> now I'm gonna work on developing a new crocheting project. 
um, which I will be making a video for very soon. I personally think that Shin Ramen is better than Restaurant Ramen. Maybe it's because I grew up eating it, but this stuff is so good. I think we could say definitively he's committed crime. Well, the garden critter has struck again. More of my zucchini plant leaves are gone, which is so sad on all three of my plants. And most sadly, they ate my entire red bean plant. hate it so much. I hate it with a burning passion, which is why I have this handy dandy clay gun. It's like a handheld extruder basically, and you just put a lump of clay in and then you can just extrude out the most perfect handles and it is so useful. This is probably my absolute favorite pottery purchase that I think has made like the biggest difference in my pottery making. These are my fruit handle mugs. They look a little bit funny right now because they're not painted, but we have lemon, strawberry, orange, and peach. If you haven't noticed, pottery is great, but it's also a lot of cleaning. Happy Monday. Ryan's grandmother was cleaning out her house and just getting rid of a bunch of her old stuff and included in the stuff she was throwing out were some film cameras. We took a bunch of photos with the old camera and also with the old film so we weren't really sure how they were going to turn out but I just picked them up after they got developed and they look so so cute. Let me show you. I love them. They turned out so amazing. I am so, so excited to email these photos to his grandmother and hopefully she enjoys looking at them as much as I did.
got another tree. I just couldn't pass her up. I haven't named it yet, um, but it is an avocado tree and it's so cute. I don't think it's gonna bear any fruit this year or maybe even next year, but I'm excited to watch her grow. taking my cats, Olive and Poppy, outside just in the backyard carrying them to see how they would like it. We were planning on building them a little catio, which if you don't know, it's like a patio but for cats, I guess, and it's a way for them to access the outdoors, but it's completely enclosed, so it's very safe for indoor cats. I realized that they just absolutely love the outdoors, and so we got them a cat harness, and it's here! Look at the strawberries! I really hope it fits because all of the reviews said that they followed the size chart and it was way too small for their cats. I have heard that harness training and getting cats used to wearing harnesses takes quite a while so I'm sure the first time I put this on one of them they are going to flop over and not know what to do with themselves. Very good! Oh my She's purring. Are you purring, pretty girl? You want a treat? You get a treat. Mmm, is that yummy? for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.